Allah Azza wa Jal, he says, مَا أَصَابَ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ There is absolutely no disaster that strikes except by Allah's permission. Now, when you believe that, Allah said, وَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ And anyone who believes in Allah, huh, what does that mean? Meaning you acknowledge the calamity came from Allah by Allah's permission, and then you have to have faith in Allah, hold on to your faith and belief and trust in Allah. If you believe in Allah and you have faith in Allah, you don't lose your faith in Allah. What happens? Allah gifts you with something beautiful. Yahdi qalba. Allah would guide your heart so that everything you'll do from then on would be correct bi idhnillah. Wallahu bi kulli shay'in alim. And Allah Azza wa Jal is knowing of all things. And then the next ayah, Allah said, Wa ati'u Allah wa ati'u Rasul. And obey Allah and obey his messenger. As though Allah is telling us, don't you dare neglect the obedience of Allah and his messenger after the calamity has struck upon you and it has become severe. Don't you dare neglect the obedience of Allah. My brothers and sisters in Islam, don't neglect the obedience of Allah in the middle of your calamity, in the middle of your sickness and illness. Ya akhwani, my brothers and sisters in Islam, uqsimu billah. Losing one salat purposely, neglecting one salat purposely, is worse than losing a limb to sickness. It's worse than losing your health. It's worse than losing your parents. It's worse than losing your children or your wealth or your job or your income. Losing one salat purposely is worse than losing your health. Yes, because losing one salat purposely earns a person a major sin. Perhaps, perhaps he could be punished because of that. But losing a limb or losing a child or losing a parent or losing money or losing your health, if you were to remain patient, that becomes a source of hasanat. It becomes a source of purification for you. It raises your ranks and levels in the paradise. It earns you Allah's pleasure and his love and his mercy. Fa, don't give up worship in the middle of a calamity. Rather, increase your worship because the calamity is only there to wake you up. And to say to you, the road is this way. Go to Allah. Turn to Allah. Raise your hand to Allah. Make a tawbah. Make istighfar. Pray and increase in your prayers. The way you are. You're sick, you're ill, you can't get up. Pray the way you are. But understand these meanings, my brothers and sisters in Islam.